I know. I can't get away, can I? <laughs> Taking I'm Kristen Mulherin. I'm president of Women in 3D Printing. Women in 3D Printing is a nonprofit organization that was established essentially to bridge the uh, gender gap. But now we have a bigger mission and we want to create an additive manufacturing industry that's more representative of the world we live in. The Women 3D Printing has several initiatives. So we have the Next Gen program, which is out there to provide mentorship. And then we also have uh, over 100 chapters around the world. Um, and that's really about building a community and providing that support system and, and allowing people to have that visibility of what the opportunities are in the industry by seeing ex women who are already there. Well, there's several very specific applications for why you use 3D printing. Um, 3D printing is really used for part consolidation, creating highly customized parts, um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's to be able to create parts that you wouldn't be able to make any other way. I think probably the most common misconception is uh, that it's only used for prototyping and that it's not um, capable of doing large-scale production. Absolutely not. So we actually, because of the nature of the industry, actually we probably have more men that participate in our events than women. Um, it's, you know, it's become the biggest networking group in the entire industry, so that's, that's the whole point. I mean, we can't, we can't have an organization about diversity and exclude half the population. Community. Well, I mean, I think the hope is that it's accepted as a mainstream manufacturing technology. Um, and we see it up there with CNC machining and injection molding as just another one of the methods that you would use to manufacture end use parts. I, I, you know, I don't think that there's one particular woman per se, but there's been several women that I've come across. And what they've inspired me in is that they have maintained their femininity and they have maintained, you know, by being a woman, but still, you know, being very, very successful in the manufacturing space. You know, 20 years ago when I first started in, in manufacturing, you know, you had to try to conform to be more masculine. Whereas now, I think it's really important that you can still maintain your femininity and, and still be taken seriously in, in the manufacturing industry.